If you guys don't remember, I put an antler through that last episode. It didn't fix itself yet. Hey, welcome back to the channel though. If you haven't done so, like and subscribe. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Good morning. Not really that good of a morning. Still leaking, didn't fix itself overnight. Slow leak, it did hold some air. Call one Pete's Tire Barn that's closer. Yeah, I don't know, you can bring it in. We probably gotta send it out, I don't know. Call the other one that's further away that deals with more ag stuff. Um, yeah, bring it down, we'll check it out. We probably can fix that. Okay. That, that's why there's no customer service left in the world, except in select areas, so. Waiting on somebody with the forks to give me a hand pulling this off. It'd be sweet if I ever converted all my trucks over to stud pilot instead of Dayton wheels. But I don't think that's in the budget for a while, because then I could just pop it right off, pop it on. Oh. Take it right out back. I'll wash it off. There we go. It's off. Oh. Here's where we're at. So right here, you notice there's a gap. There's supposed to be something that's connecting it. Monroe Tractor, New York. First time ever purchasing anything from them. I got that because they're a Tyler a fertilizer tender dealer. And they can they can get parts so they sent me over a diagram they did send me the right stuff which was sweet i opened it up and i went oh this isn't good not the right thing so i'm starting to take things apart this is why they sold it at the brand dealer them guys probably had no care in the world the box still got life left in it but something breaks and you work at a corporate company i think brands brands corporate corporate it's probably easier to say screw it let's buy a new one and put this up on auction time so took the back bracket off and i don't know if i'm doing this right or not took the back bracket off i'm hoping i can slide this far enough back so that i can put that in there but i'm not sure if i can or can't we're gonna i guess we're gonna find out if i gotta take this bracket off or not bolts there and bolts over there my idea when i first started was i was just gonna cut the plastic piece that it rides on and then there's metal that goes around it I don't know that's a big shaft and you got to get past the auger up there so I figured I'd just I'd, I'd start taking things apart and see how far I could get maybe I can do it this does come off so we're probably gonna have to take that off we'll just slide the auger right out as much of a headache as I thought so we got it mostly I got it mostly this is a one-man project right now um it's sitting on here got this out got the bolts out things are good i ended up cutting that right at one of the joints so let me grab my box to show you what's gonna go on here or what i hope these go right like that so that's gonna button it up i can put some sealing stuff on there just to keep water out just in case but that's gonna pull it tight and hold it there and there's another one on the other side and then the bottom so i think that's going to be my best bet without taking this whole back bracket off and everything else and getting that auger all the way out because i'm going to just flip this down i need two hands and around let me put you somewhere here can you guys see let's see down and around Let's see if I can get it up in there. Need a little more room. There we go. That's actually pretty good. I'll put some sealant, like I said, when I slide that back together. But Dang. Moving along. I got it. Francisco helped me quite a bit on it. I think taking the whole auger off probably would have given me about the same amount of time I had in it 
but cutting it was a bad idea because then it could all flex around and you couldn't get it really square. It's in though, I sealed up where we cut it. So what that does is allow that auger to pivot. So that's on. Just gotta get hydraulics and put the chains on and this will be good. I gotta go get the tire though. They got it patched. They said it does leak a tiny little bit, but I could run it and then bring it back to them when I'm not using it and they'll send it out to get it completely repaired. So let's go get that. Well, we got it. They patched it and uh, it's got a slow leak. We're at Pete's and Gardner. I like doing business with them. So I'd say our local tire shop that's in Lowell, every time I bring them something, they complain about it, make a big ordeal. These guys, they'll work with you, give you advice, tell you what's realistic. So pretty awesome for that. Um, but it's in the bed, it's got a slow leak. And he said, probably when you patched it, you couldn't go in the right spot. So it broke a cord um, and it's making more of, it's making a tiny leak through the cord. But he said, it, you can run it for a while and bring it back. They got a, one guy that does all their tires and he showed me one of the tires. I guess when I do this, I'll show you what it is. They cut it out and they make like a mold. And I never knew they did it, did this. I, I had an idea that they did, that people do it. And they make a mold um, and they patch it and then they fill it back with melted rubber. Um, and it seals it up so that it's it's new. So he had a tire sitting there, a big tire, um, probably like three thousand dollar tire. That he's it was done on it and it looked awesome and it was in the sidewall. So this should be easy for them to do. He says it will take them about ten days because they have one guy that does it, but that's wild. So hopefully we can get our manure spread get fertilizer done and then this then that truck can be sitting um, and I'll take the tire back off bring it back to them and have them do it up but for now let's get back home get that on figure out the tender and then tomorrow I can get back into manure home got this on earlier it's not straight yet got to find all my chains I never got around to getting short chains, which I'd really like some short ones. I'm going to go around each one of these and back down. I'm not going to use these, actually. Maybe I will. I don't think I will. But as you see, nothing's lined up straight. Got to do that. Bent this a little straighter. Really got to come off. This was such a pain to put this in between. So I did end up cutting a little slice in there. Then I put it at the top, sealed it up so that I could slide it back just enough to slide it around right here. And what that does is it allows this whole thing to pivot so your auger can go up or down. Um, so with that being said, I had to take this off, slid everything back. Really not that bad of a job there. I should have pulled the whole auger, which would mean taking this bumper off, taking this bracket off. It might, that might have actually been pretty hard without hydraulics to run. I don't know. But lining everything up, I got three quarters of it lined up really well. And then the last quarter fought me. It is in there though. It took some work. Pretty excited for that. So. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm going to go get some hydraulic lines made. Up for the connections which i'm not excited to see what 30 foot of hydraulic lines is going to be 60 foot we need two of them feed and return but got to get it done got to get it running so i can order fertilizer so we can get into spreading grass and then i got 12 uh 15 tons needed for grass and then five for um corn that doesn't get manure and then we'll top dress again and then we got grass so we got quite a bit to do 
and they told me it's $15 a ton cheaper if you buy it in bulk. So if we do, I don't know, 15, 5, 20, maybe 20, 30, once we're done top dressing corn, 35, 40, 40 tons of fertilizer this year, maybe 45. What's that equal out to? So that equals out to a savings of $675. We'll probably be at 700. So after three years, this whole thing paid for itself, along with the efficiency of being able to have two people run around and remove all the fertilizer instead of three people, bags, trying to load, having a trailer, having the loader. I'm excited for that part. And having this much storage. Tarp needs a little love, but not too bad. So, Alrighty, I gotta clean my mess up. Gotta go eat Yanko some dinner. Gotta take that tire out of that truck too. That's the plan for tomorrow. We're gonna put the tire on, get hydraulic lines made, and go back to hauling manure. So, and lime spread it on Friday. So it's gonna be a busy next few days. I just noticed this bracket's broken, so I haven't lost you guys yet. But. Alrighty. If this is the end of the video, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.